It all started when a viewer contacted us, telling us about the dozens of comments on the Pahuska Community Facebook page. So we went to Pahuska to investigate. The Garrett family raised Baca from the time he was a pup. We were pretty attached to him. So when a friend says she witnessed someone trying to take him, Christian Garrett was mad. So that day that he came over, he would have had to open this gate and then come to this kennel, which had a chain wrapped around it and it latched. And the girl that caught him, caught him over here trying to unlatch it and unravel the chain. Garrett says he is the dog catcher. It's one of the dozens of complaints about the animal control officer who took over the position six months ago. It's one of those love or hate. You either like him or you hate him. Pahuska City Manager Mike McCartney says he's heard some of the complaints too. This one is particularly concerning. I don't think that he's doing that, but I'm not standing right there with him. City Ordinance says if an animal is off its leash, that's a violation. But going into someone's fenced yard is going too far. I mean, no, you, you don't go into somebody's yard and let their dog out. The officer works part time and was not on duty when we were there. But he's certainly having an impact on the pound, bringing in more dogs and fines. For the first five months of 2014, the city brought in $146 in fees and tax. Compare that to the past five months with the new officer, it goes up to $3,700. I don't want him to be so overboard, but I also don't, you can't pick and choose when or what ordinance you're going you're gonna to decide you're going to follow. As for Garrett, they gave their dog to a friend after all the issues they're having and want the officer to go. After the comments we brought to his attention, the city manager is speaking with the dog catcher. He also noted that he's adopted out many stray dogs, preventing them from being euthanized. It's a story we'll continue to follow. Marla Carter, 2 works for you.